So hello you guys. I was thinking about a saying that my mom used to say to me a lot. My mom has a lot of these different sayings and one of them was a watched pot never boils. And I used to like think about that and I'm like, well, it always eventually boils, right? I mean, whether you watch it or not, it's gonna eventually boil. At least that was my premise. <laughs> And what I have found like in the last few years is that sometimes if I don't watch it, it burns the pan. It actually ends up like completely ruining my pan. I, I, I walk away and I forget about it and then, you know, it burns to a crisp, whatever I'm trying to cook. And, um, and then the pan is like sometimes actually ruined. I've had to throw pans away because of this. Today, I was, um, even after I was thinking about this idea that my mom used to say, I was thinking, I was at, at my occupation today and I was um, cooking some beets. I eat a lot of beets. I don't know. I used to not like them at all, but now it's like it's one of the like mainstays of my diet and I I buy my beets at the farmers market and then I cook them and I boil them. I so I put them in in water and I boil them and today at my occupation I had them in like a simmer and somebody knocked on the office door and said, "You know, you've got something boiling on the on the stove, you know, so I, I'm thinking that it's like totally boiling over, you know, how that goes. And I turn around and it, it was like boiling pretty, I mean, it was at a rapid boil, but it wasn't boiling over. So I was really happy because sometimes if you don't be cook them at a high enough heat, it just takes forever to actually cook them. So I was thinking about this idea this idea, like Abraham Hicks, you know, oftentimes they say, you know, in, in way previous videos I had talked about, you know, we ask is step number one, number two is it is given, and then step number three is the art of allowing. Allowing what has already been given to come into our proximity, which would mean and sometimes taking our attention away from it. <laughs> but even that is somewhat of a balancing act, isn't it? Like, because if you take your attention too far away from it, you know, your pan might actually boil over. Your idea might actually expire or disappear, or you would have other things come into your physicality, you know, by taking away your focus on whatever that is. Anyway, today I, I've been having opportunities coming at me and today I had three. <laughs> I had three opportunities and one of them, when I sat in front of my computer and I saw it, I, I just started to cry and it wasn't a negative cry. like. I, I find that a lot of times that I cry, like it's not necessarily tears of sadness. Like sometimes I, I cry about things that are actually beautiful or I'm just so overtaken with emotion. And this one job, <laughs> I was so overtaken with emotion about it. It was a combination of what I would be doing. It, it's an early childhood type of job, but it's, it's more of a training um, opportunity for me to train people who would be working with children. And I, I just absolutely love that idea of, of me being able to pass on 20 years of experience and a lot of training and education regarding early childhood and, and the location. <laughs> I just, I just, and it was like markedly different, like the feeling and I, and I, and I sat there and I, because I've had, you know, I've told y'all I've had four other interviews at this particular, around this particular location. And I, 
have not gotten them. Even the one that was the most recent that I was really excited about, I did not get that. I don't think I got that position. They never called me. And so, um, and so I, I was like thinking about the feeling of it and what it's going to feel like to actually be offered a position that is lucrative and is in a location and is an opportunity and what it just all of it what it feels like was what I was so overtaken with and I was just I just had to sort of sit for a moment because I mean I was like just in tears I was so excited and I listened to a podcast today I um I'm a real like devoted follower of Brian Rose of London Real um and I also watch Evan Carmichael I have two youtubers that I watch faithfully and Brian Rose is one of them and he had this person on um, the icons I think are their name and they're a couple they're from Russia or he's from Russia I'm not sure she's from Russia and I was listening to a podcast about money and I've talked a lot in my videos about money uh, just over and over again about money and money being you know a a area of you know really wanting to change my energy regarding money and and so I finally got it there was something that they said in this podcast that it was sort of like this making friends with it. Like I had talked in other videos about us being taught, like especially as Christian, like people who would believe, you know, you know, like I was raised Catholic and it was like money, like the root of all evil. <laughs> and they talked about that in his podcast, but it still was sort of like, was like this, making friends with it and then I was like I really 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 love hundred dollar bills I, don't, I absolutely love them and I found out Benjamin Franklin is on is on the hundred dollar bill I'm like god that is the coolest thing I really like Benjamin Franklin I like the color of money I love green green is one of my favorite colors and I love absolutely love what it does for me and being able to take care of people and just you know um and so I finally just had this overwhelming feeling come over me about just full on making, making friends with money. <laughs> and so we'll see, we'll see what the next few weeks bring. I, I'm just, um, I was just thinking about that idea of the pot boiling and this balance of watching it and not watching it and letting it cook whatever it is we're trying to cook so it's sort of like we put something out to the inner the universe we make a decision and we put it out to the universe and God I believe God and and then the allowing of of the fruition of that and this combination of focus on it and not focus on it and checking on it and adjusting it if the heat is too high turning it down and this kind of thing and anyway but I just wanted to share I love you guys I'll be back